Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lynn, the leather bag lady. How are you all today? It is Friday and I am feeling much better. Still a slight line on the rapid test. So I guess I'm still kind of uh, having to stick around the house, but that's okay. We are expecting a bit of snow this weekend. So I spoke to Pius and said, are you, you know, we're not going anywhere, so we better get some groceries in. We better get hunkered down and ready to um, get snowed in, which is fine. So my shop at the shed number three went down beautifully last night, other than the filming. And I see I've got a timer on me today as well. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> Maybe it's telling me something. Who knows? But anyway, we will get through today's video. And thank you for all of those who watched. I did sell a couple of items. It's so exciting. I'm having so much fun. And I mean, everything I list on Etsy and on my uh, .com are things that I have chosen myself. They're things that I for whatever reason, have uh, come across and decided that it's beautiful or I can't leave it behind. And that kind of segues into today's bag. Today's bag has a bit more wear than I would normally pick up. But for some, I think it's the color. I think it is the color. Let me zip this baby back up. I have a little bit of a thing about this color. Isn't it gorgeous? So this is a little shoulder or backpack if you want to open it right up. I don't know what it is. You can't adjust the strap. It is what it is. But I don't know what it is about this little bag. I kind of thought about whether or not I should list it because it does have some wear. You can see that this has, the plaque has quite a bit of wear, as do the top ones. Um, there is some color uh, darkening here, 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 and there are some little areas of the glazing has... So this bag is leather and vinyl. So this whole front is leather and this back is leather, but this, the handle, the strap and the base is vinyl. There is a pocket in the front. But what I like about it is double zippered and it unzips. Now there is a little bit of the lining that seems to not want to fold properly. Um, I think what I might do is I might iron that for you. It's just because it's not uh, folding in on itself properly. But it opens all the way down. Obviously, there is a gusset on the sides to make sure all your goodies don't fall out. It has a zipper pocket, some card slots, a center divider with a compartment, and then nothing on this side. It is actually very clean inside. It's just been very well loved, but I, I, like I said, there's another little dark spot right here. I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It just, there's your little hang tag, Linne Verde, genuine leather. It's quite soft. I've moisturized it. I, I was on the fence until I moisturized it. Once I moisturized it, this color just popped and I just thought, no, I want to list it. It just, I don't know, it's beautiful. I get asked a lot for backpacks when I do my in-person shows, and I don't get a lot of them. So, um, it is what it is. So, I am, uh, <coughs> as I said, I'm on the mend, um, looking to get a clean rapid test, which I don't have at the moment. I need a haircut so bad. I looked at that Shop at the Shed video yesterday and I've, I'm have i trying to let my hair grow out a little bit and it's just sticking out at the back. And I mean, it looked like I was wearing a wig last night. 
And I just thought, you know what, girl, you need to take a little bit more time and get a little bit more fancy schmancy because you are letting your bags down. <laughs> That's kind of how I felt last night. It's like, okay, yeah, you're sick. You've got COVID. Okay, maybe you get a pass. But moving forward, you know, I've gained weight. I'm not feeling 100% in that regard. So I guess maybe part of me doesn't really give a shit. But that is no excuse. So, see my uh, 1950s fur coat. That's a mink collar with a fabric. Um, where's the sleeve? A black fabric sleeve. <laughs> and all my wristlets. What's the the latest one? I think I showed you this one already. I don't. I don't. Why does this pattern stuff feel sticky? Anyway, so last night was a great success. I uh, ended up selling a couple of items and I am just so grateful. So if you are watching this video and you purchased from me last night, I am my hair is falling out like crazy. Um, I appreciate it. I really, really do. This little project of mine I thought would take lo a lot longer to get off the ground. One of my items is going to BC and I'm like, God dang, like it's so awesome. I am so excited about it. And I mean, all of that's a fossil. These are two roots. Like I said, I've got other plans for my roots. These are all bags that will eventually make their way. See my Sebastian, my favorite little mermaid character. My ex-husband bought this for me years ago. I don't know why I like it so much, but under the sea. <laughs> so a different angle, just because I'm trying desperately to get rid of this glare, but this angle is not much better. And the other thing was, is I'm getting too close to the camera and I've noticed how fuzzy my face is. Like, what is with that? <laughs> anyway, normally I don't give a shit about any of that stuff, but you know what? I'm letting my bags down. So... My bags are, gotta love it when your bags are better looking than you are. <laughs> oh, something else I wanted to show you. I don't know if I've showed you this already, but this is a pouch that I found some time ago. Beautiful suede. Ta so I think this is a little too close to my heart. I don't know that I will ever see this on either Shopify or Etsy. One, it has a tassel. Two, it is suede. And three, I like it. Made in Italy. So there, I mean, there's stuff everywhere, as you can tell. Do, 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 do. So these are all bags that will soon be available in my Shopify store. And that is a portion a portion a portion there's all my wristlets they're all coach wristlets one two three hangers full <sighs> oh and maybe a better view of my um baskets with all my smalls Ooh. and that's all clothing those are my bags, and these are the bags that have been, uh, that are on my sh Shopify right now, my dot com right now. Right there. That is a box I made from a um, scaffold plank with my girlfriend's husband who just got a new table saw. <laughs> that was probably in. 1999 I think I made that box so there's all kinds of things that I just I love to share with you and I hope you enjoy watching if you do thank you so much if you don't watch the bag and be gone with you if you don't want the rest of what we hang out and chat about um Pius had his uh, appointment with a surgeon this morning he says there's nothing to worry about. I cannot imagine. I mean, I was 
happy that he doesn't need to have another MRI, another potential surgery, but I don't know how he is going to hang in there with the amount of pain that he is in. And it's not even just the pain. He doesn't sleep. And I mean, we calculate it's almost seven months now that he has been in constant pain and he's exhausted. He has mental fatigue, mental exhaustion. And we've had a rough go the last uh, month or so. Um, newlyweds be damned. We have really struggled this last month, but, um, you know, we're, we're trying to put it down to, you know, his situation with his surgery, um, my menopause and stress. I mean, I, I must say this project being, um, as potentially, successful as it appears to be. I mean, I've done three shop at the sheds and I've made a sale on each one of them. And to me, that is a win. Even when I did my um, Etsy, when I started Etsy in March 2020, when COVID first hit and all my shows got shut down. I mean, there is a lot to be said for um, just doing it. And I think I've said this before recently, do not over um, educate yourself to the point where you scare the shit out of yourself and you don't try it. It is simply something that you have to try. Um, the technology is getting better. Um, it's just, and I'm starting to, to find a lot of different people online and looking at what they're doing. I shared with you yesterday about Tanner Leatherstein. If you've had a moment to check him out, I hope you really enjoyed him. But I am so appreciating the trend. I found another guy, Super Dacob or something, a very, very flamboyant young man. And he is um, uh, unboxing Lux brands, but also kind of... Um, mentioning the same message that a lot of these YouTubers are messaging or, or are giving, the Lux brands, unfortunately, are not holding up their end of the bargain. Now, the YouTube video that caught my eye was um, what Lux brands are doing with their extras. Now, it has been rumored that Louis Vuitton especially, they do not discount their bags. And we know why. If you are going to spend $3,000 on a Louis Vuitton bag, but you know around Christmas, Black Friday, they go on sale, you're not going to spend $3,000. You're going to wait for the $1,500 sale or whatever. They don't want that. They want you paying the three grand. They want the exclusivity. They want all that stuff. So it has been rumored that whatever leftovers they have, I do believe they allow their staff um, a discount of some sort, but they burn them. So this young man, Super Dakob, D-A-K-O-B, has found an article. And again, just because it's on the internet does not mean it's true. It's not coming from me. I am just um, sharing with you what I found on the internet today on YouTube. The European Union has told them they can no longer do that. Um, maybe because of um, uh, the pollution element of it. I don't know. So he found a Moschino bag in Marshalls or TK Maxx. And it was a collab with some weirdo designer. And it was a hair dryer, like one of those old fashioned, you know, it has the kind of round bit, the hair dryer bit and the handle and the round bit opens up. He found bin full of these and they were all destroyed. So it looks like they're making sure that people don't want to buy them. Maybe, I don't know. He found enough pieces to be able to put one together and he showed online. It was a thousand dollars originally and it was on sale at TK Maxx for 50 bucks. And he saw, um, what else did he, 
what other brands did he see? I can't remember and I don't have a lot of time. I'm not sure why this thing has a timer on me all of a sudden, but it does. So that seems to be what's happening is, I mean, I don't know if you'll ever find Louis Vuitton in there or whatnot, but he found a Bottega Veneta. Um, he found another uh, brand, like big, big brands. And then this Moschino, like crazy bag. And it just... And then with the leather, uh, Tanner Le uh, Leatherstein, people are not putting up with the reduced quality with the increased price. And I feel that that's maybe a little bit where I come in. I am not selling Lux brands. I do not want to get into that authentication bullshit. I will sell my mall brands all day long. But you're still like he reviewed a coach bag that they actually sent him the Tanner Leatherstein and he took it apart. The glazing was millimeters thick. It was I don't I hate that stuff. It looks so cheap. And I mean, this bag was four hundred dollars plus. So I don't know if the Lux brands are going to, you know, get into trouble or whatever. I'm not sure. But I'm really enjoying watching my colleagues out there kind of give us people who, I mean, I've got Louis Vuitton bags. I've paid a fortune for Louis Vuitton bags back in the day when I cared. Um, I'm never going to get rid of them. I love them. I told my kids I'm going to be buried with them. <laughs> but, but I mean, I would any Lux brand that I would pursue now absolutely would be vintage because in my opinion and from looking at Beto's Leatherworks from looking at the dissections this Tanner Leatherstein they're not worth it uh 90s coach bag uh 90s roots bag way better quality leather quality um access like the uh hardware quality so Anyway, I'm running out of time. I don't know what is going on with this. So hopefully you're all going to have a great weekend. We're not doing anything. I still have COVID. I might have a glass of wine or two tonight. Who knows? Um, Pius is probably going to be exhausted as he always is every day. He's still back at work. Um, he did not feel like going back to work after visiting with the surgeon this morning. I think he was frustrated because the surgeon just said, it's just going to take time. And he's like, what? So we're grateful that he's not having to have another surgery and all that jazz, but I don't know how he's going to manage this pain. Like he is white with pain sometimes, but anyway, so have a great rest of the day, everybody. If it's going to be crap where you are weather-wise, please drive carefully and all that jazz and um, don't do anything I wouldn't do, which lately I'm very boring, very, very boring, but I plan to amend that. And um, I'm going to do my videos for next Thursday this weekend. So this whole timer bullshit doesn't factor in. Apparently my phone will only let me film up to half an hour because my phone will overheat and blow up or something. That's what my Google search showed me last night. So I had to go in and uh, erase the video that I had already uploaded for my um shorts and reels to share that the uh, shop at the shed was happening last night and my um the uh, vintage bag experience video i had to get rid of them because i needed the room to do the filming for i don't get it i don't get it peeps i don't get it anyway have a great weekend and i will talk to you monday bye